Zoiden is an immersive media display, so it uses interactivity and it uses immersive media techniques to draw the viewer into a very intense experience with themselves. Robotically controlled interactive artwork. And so there's 32 human cast faces which I've turned into robots uh, that watch you. Uh, they track your motion around uh, gallery space and they watch you as you uh, move around. And what's really interesting about Zoiden is that normally we associate that as having another person watching us. But in the case of Zoiden as an artwork, um, we actually feel like we're being watched even though there's no one actually doing the watching besides a machine, of course. And so it really questions our notion of being stared at. Um, do we actually need other people to be looking at us for us to feel like we're being looked at? Or are we sort of just looking at ourselves through the lens of other people, or in this case, uh, the artwork? A lot of new developments. Uh, this is version 2. Uh, in version 1, uh, one of the main differences was the motion tracking software. So in version 1, um, I used a standard desktop um, webcam um, and basically reappropriated the hardware technology for my project and really it sort of limited the project. So basically what I did is I adopted open source uh, technology that is the Open Framework C library and was able to use their motion tracking and blob tracking uh, libraries to come up with a face tracker that would work for uh, the project. And what that's allowing me to do now is to track up to 32 different faces, so one face for every face that I have on the matrix. Another interesting development actually uh, was the use of uh, Lego and so the way that works is in V1 I designed um, the robotics around a universal joint that used a spring and so each eye would have one of these. Um, but that proved cumbersome and also problematic because it required twice the servos so for each eye you would need a servo that would control the upward and downward movement, side to side movement, and the blinking of the uh, eyelid. And so with LEGO, I was able to divide up that whole process so that you would use one servo to control both eyes in either direction and the blinking. So you would only need three servos instead of six servos. And it also proved a lot more efficient in terms of the mechanics, uh, the general mechatronics uh, involved with the designing of the um, robotic faces was improved because of the use of LEGO. To develop this project, um, I've had to work in collaboration with some electrical engineers uh, in Toronto, Randy Glenn, in order to develop the brain or the microcontroller uh, for the artwork. And we based that architecture on the very popular Arduino microcontroller, but we called ours Displayduino. 
And so the fundamental difference between Displayduino and Arduino is that Displayduino has the capacity to expand uh, into very large projects such as Zoid. The Displayduino project, the hardware or the uh, wiring of the project, um, was developed in many stages. Initially, uh, the hardware was made in such a way as the LEDs and the servos would be controlled by the same board. We found that this was cumbersome and not necessarily modular and wouldn't really benefit any other art project except for Zoid. So we divided it all up and now it's separate. There is the LED matrix, there is the servo matrix, and there is the power matrix. So the LED matrix basically controls LEDs and it controls RGB full color LEDs. So you can get a really broad spectrum of colors happening with the lights uh, in a given project. The servo matrix basically controls servos, so it can control up to 64 servos and eight different kinds of servos per board. And then there's the power matrix, and that will control any electrical device between the range of zero and 12 volts of uh, power. At this point, Arduino, just as with Arduino, uh, we've decided to offer the project open source online to the broader interactive arts uh, community. I think Zoidin is quite, uh, V2 that is, is um, quite successful in uh, achieving the sense of being stared at or simulating this sensation in an interactive artwork. Um, but I think it could be amplified as always, more uh, is, is always more fun. But uh, there's room for that in the future as, uh, as I keep building these kind of fun projects.